Hi, I just wanted to uh, go over setting up the trading system that I use uh, with the Thinkorswim platform. Television viewer, so you could be annoyed <coughs> all through the trading day if you so choose. But uh, let's get on to uh, it's going to be easy for me. Um, but I wanted to show you exactly what we have here. Um, I have my local time set and um, basically this is the default screen and the price axis this is pretty much uh, default I um, I put in fit studies and fit study markers I don't know if that's default or not I don't remember um, time access uh, we're going to use the aggregation type time the other choices are tick and range but we're going to use time and uh, the time interval I usually have it set for today but uh, <clears throat> we can leave it like that and there's all kinds of choices in minute one minute two minute three etc you know all the way up there's more than that but uh, that's what we have right now I, I've checked off keep time zone uh, zoom <laughs> I don't really know <clears throat> if that's you know necessary or what have you um, appearance uh, you can do whatever you want I set it for candle and I checked fill up fill down and show wicks because um, I like to see them uh, it's, it's my preference you know you could do whatever you want you could do a bar chart <coughs> excuse me but like I said I like the candles um, it's it's a little better visual uh, representation in my opinion uh, for equities um, I, I want to show extended session and highlight extended session and uh, right up in the upper left corner behind this window you can see you know it's got the high and the low <laughs> whoopee for Apple um, this is for uh, June 9th so it would be for the 11th um, that we're talking about the next trading day All right and then I would basically just click apply and then okay now comes the hard part you want to add studies so over on the right you're gonna click on studies okay um, add study and what we're gonna start out with is we're gonna start out with five SMAs All right? and basically that's a moving average right here and uh, you want to go and move and click on simple moving average and you want to you click that and it puts it up here and it says simple moving average close nine and zero okay and you do that again same thing studies add studies moving averages simple moving averages you do this at least three times because you want the nine day the 20 day and the 50 day moving average and then you come in and do it one last time um, where is it moving averages and you put in DEMA D-E-M-A all right so now let's uh, let's click on studies and then edit studies now uh, here I, I've got the, the nine day moving average. I select the color and the, the length. And this also said nine, but I changed it to 20 and I changed the color. And then the 50, and I changed it to 50 here. And uh, I changed the color. Uh, you can you know, do whatever you want, whatever works for you. And uh, there's the DEMA. Uh, I don't know if I had to change this, but I, I, I also want it, you know, close on the nine. Um, <clears throat> and then, let's see.
and click apply and whenever you make any changes and then okay now the other studies you want to add okay um, we're just going to go all studies and I don't know if you saw it but there was the parabolic SAR you want to add that um, there's also an RSI Wilder crossover you want to add this and then you want to add this again and I'm going to show you why in a minute um, you want the uh, RSI Wilder you want um, what else you want tricks and the next one you want is uh, okay it would be the forecast oscillator F O O S C or F O S C a FOSC so you want that okay now I've already got it so I'm just gonna basically take it out um, as you can see here both of them are the same so uh, I guess I'm using the, the default forecast oscillator. So I'm going to click anywhere there and studies and then edit studies. And then I'm going to go down to the last one, forecast oscillator, and I'm going to click on remove. Now, I also added another simple moving average near the beginning of the, the video. Uh, I'm going to remove that as well. And now we're going to go over the, uh, the, the, the settings. The forecast oscillator, you don't need to change. The tricks, you want to change this to 9 for the length. The color normal length is 14, the price close, and the signal length 2. Okay, and uh, you can change your colors down here, um, whatever works for you. Um, going back to the forecast oscillator, um, I have made some changes here. I, I had these bars. Um, and I changed the width to 5 and I made the color a little different and then the signal I made that and then the zero line of course is uh, I, I, uh, whatever red whatever the zero level the signal is the same color well doesn't matter yeah click apply all right <clears throat> So uh, also for the tricks I changed that and the MACD, the value of MACD, I changed the color and the differential or the difference, um, I changed it uh, right here again with the bars. I changed the width to 5 and positive and up is bright green, positive and down is dark green, negative and down is bright red, negative and up is uh, a, a dim red. Um, those are the lower uh, sub uh, studies there. Now the other lower study, and you're going to do this. This would be in the in the lower studies when you first click on it. So what you want to do when you first click on it is you want to check off on upper subgraph. Then you want to change the length to uh, 2. This is set you up for a 2 period RSI. You want to change your, your overbought to 90, your oversold to 10. Um, and sometimes, it, it, I guess average is 80-20 here for these two. Um, sometimes I go 95 and 5. Um, play with it and um, don't go blind, but, uh, you know, whatever works for you. Okay, so then uh, it's on the upper subgraph. You're going to click Apply and then OK. Um, and that'll close that window. But before you do that, sorry, I got out away from myself. Um, we want to change these. Uh, as you can see here, I also added uh, the SMA100 and the uh, SMA200. Um, you can do that if you want. That's optional. Um, on the MACD histogram crossover, or maybe I showed you it was an RSI Wilder crossover. Well, that's a lie. You want the MACD histogram crossover. Um, I'll show you how to get that once I close out of here. But this one here is positive to negative. 
and this one here is negative to positive. Um, they're just slightly different each one. Okay, um, again, click apply and click OK. Um, the way you add the MACD. MACD histogram crossover, you click here, and then you come back in and do the same thing. And click it again, and then you change one of them to... Uh, Change one of them to uh, positive to negative, and the other one negative to positive. And I'm going to show you why in just a sec. All right, so now um, it should be all set up. I know it doesn't look anything like it right now, but let's just uh, plug in oh, anything. Let's go uh, Green Mountain Coffee Roasters and press Enter. And now I'm going to go over on the right where it says one minute. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to change that to uh, day. And then I'm going to go down lower left and click the minus button so I can zoom out. So that I, when you, when you zoom out completely, you get rid of this uh, blue slider bar here. Um, <clears throat> you know, you can zoom in and zoom out all you want, whatever floats your boat but I just wanted to show you on this how it works now green Mo mountain coffee roasters um, uh, that looks like a, a signal in the up direction that one looks like a down that one looks like an up that one looks like a down that one looks like an up that one looks like a down so uh, going from this one right here I can generally say that uh, on August 30th I got a signal and the very next day was August 31st. I would probably on August 31st buy a call um, uh, either weekly or monthly. I would probably go weekly but you know you could do both. There's, this one lasted right through that that uh, option expiration the, the red date red line there the red dash line um, and then here if I didn't already, if I had long dated or uh, I went out a couple of months, I would have uh, I would have sold it at that point right there, just after reaching the high, as I got a down indicator. Oh well, so I would buy a put, and I would buy a put. Uh, I'd probably go weekly, and it would work. Then I'd probably buy another one. And it maybe work, and then I'd buy another one, and it maybe work, and and maybe even a, a monthly. Who knows? Who knows? You know, whatever whatever your uh, your tastes are. And if I was out a couple of months, and we hit this point right here, I probably have to say, just generally speaking, and we're only going over one of the signals right now. There, there's many here that I want I want to show you eventually, but. Um, you know, obviously these are reversal or changes in the patterns, and they come kind of quick. Uh, sometimes they come very quick. You have to be nimble. So that's looking at a daily chart um, for the uh, Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. And it works for everything, pretty much. I, I like to see good volume. Um, when I say good volume, you know, it, it's, it's, you don't want anything that's what they call thinly traded because uh, it can work against you real quick. Sometimes these are, these are good. Um, <clears throat> sometimes they aren't. Here we have the cues. This is from, uh, oh, I don't know, looks like uh, that was the end of 2011 right there. That was uh, December OPEX options expiration. Um, and you see shortly after that, I would have had a call. Um, you know, and you, you could have picked even a couple of months out, even with a, a down signal. And this down signal really didn't seem to do anything, did it? But anyway, I would probably buy a call and hold it through options expiration or till the end of the week here. 
which would be, uh, you know, January something. And uh, I would probably uh, either sell it or, or move on. But this is just one indicator that we're going over. And I'll show you with Apple. And here you have a down, an up, a down. Right quick. Um, must have been some news. I guess there was a conference call and, and then some reaction or, you know, I don't want to speculate on that. I just do the charts. Um, anyway, that's, that's how you set it up. It works with pretty much any symbol. Um, going to a, a one minute chart for Apple. Um, again, going out until the slider is gone. Now you can select the whole day or just part of the day. I'm going to go, oh, I don't know. Let's go right till about noontime. And this was uh, Friday, uh, the 8th of June, 2012. And as you can see right out of the gate, uh, we took a little dump. You could have written that down. There's an indicator for that. I, I know there's no arrow, okay? But there is an indicator. Um, here's an up indicator, followed by a down, followed immediately by an up, and a nice little run. And a down indicator uh, with a, a little sideways or downward drift. Um, plenty of chances to uh, get in and out. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you want to play a trade intraday, uh, an up indicator and then a down indicator. Um, and then an up indicator, which was a nice ride. A down followed by an up. So I wouldn't have done anything there because I always waiting for the next candle for confirmation. There's another little hint for you. Um, another down indicator with a nice little ride, um, etc., etc. This one here was nice. Right up until uh, noon. <coughs> Excuse me, but uh, you know, you look at the whole chart, you can you can see how it works out. All right, so I hope this helped. Um, sorry to be rambling. But it is Saturday, and uh, I'm not used to working on a Saturday. Uh, anyway, enjoy it. Any questions, uh, just get back to me and let me know. I'll try and answer them the best I can. And stealing from a friend, I just want to tell you all, navigate wisely and stay profitable, my friends. Happy trading.